Last week, OpenAI released a new model for ChatGPT 4.0 with image generator and people went crazy with all those styles, but you can do much more than applying just styles. I've been testing around and in this small video, I'll share the opportunities that we have at our hands. Sure, it's a controversial topic and I want to know what do you think in the chat about all these advancements in AI and its impact on the creative industry. But nevertheless, the results of these tests I've done are quite impressive. Let's start with this one. I uploaded a photo of mine and asked ChatGPT to turn this photo into a Muppet style using a realistic texture. Then it started to generate and revealing along the way pieces of the image. I really liked the result, so I tested out with another photo of me and asked for a claymotion inspiration style, a Walt Disney drawing style, another claymation style, a Barbie style, a Knittel texture style, a shiny marble style, and even Powerpuff Girls. The possibilities are endless, but sometimes ChatGPT doesn't generate the image due to copyright content. And also, it may take some time to generate the image. It depends on the server's load. The next one is quite impressive. I draw something very rough in a post-it note. And besides having the prompt directly typed in the chat, I also add instructions in the post-it note to see if the model will see it. And when it started to generate the image, you may see that it took the information I wrote in the note to the image, like the movement ambient. It's incredible. I also discovered this around the internet and wanted to test it. So I pick a photo from a home office desk and ask ChatGPT to create stickers inspired from some objects that are in the photo. And look at the results. This is awesome. Look at the quality. Next, even if you have any capabilities to draw, you can create your own comic strips. I wrote a small story, set the chapters, and asked ChatGPT to create the comics for me. You might see some character inconsistencies in the strips, but that's why you need to do the job afterwards with the adjustments. This one is similar to the first one, but I wanted to test it with one of my Photoshop works and apply a different style. The results were nice, very interesting, but again, lacked some, inconsistent lacked some inconsistencies in the mouth style. It catches pretty well the eyes, but not the mouth. The last one made me get out. The last one made me get out of words. I uploaded two photos and asked ChatGPT to merge them into one photo for an advertisement poster, and I add some headlines. In this case, I was more curious in the blending of the two images and see the shadows. And look at the final image. It's so good, almost no imperfections. This video was different from the Figma tutorials I used to do. But lately, I've been learning and exploring about AI, and I want to know if you are interested to know more about these topics. If so, let me know in the comments to start creating also this kind of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.